Welcome back to Palace Lab Entertainment, the number one movie in America. The Rolling Stone raves. This guy is... exists. I'm a cheap dude and so are my group of friends, so going to the movies is one of the main ways we hang out, besides going to my friend's garage to smash. You get fire! Pro tip, going to the movies between 9 to 11 a.m. drastically reduces the cost of admission. I paid $7 to see it the day it came out and was deeply disappointed that it wasn't about the IT department, and even more disappointed that nobody laughed when I said that. My core group of friends consists of three people, each with their own nickname, myself, Conformed, and the artist formerly known as Yoi, Cars3. The reason we changed his nickname was because one day the artist formerly known as Yoi was talking about how he only watches NASCAR for the crashes, and Conform chimed in and said, That's how they film Cars 3. They strap CGI to all the cars and then when I, whenever one of them crashed, they use that for the movie. To which Cars 3 adamantly responded, No they didn't, and we all made fun of him for not only trusting us, but being passionate about the film Cars 3. Whenever we go to the theater, there's always some sort of challenge that one of us has to go through. For example, one time my friend my attic warrior Gohan was drinking a gallon of Hawaiian punch in the car and I dared him to sneak it into the theater. While we were in line, he held it to his left side and managed to slip it through security. And while we were sitting down in the theater, I'd look over at him, drinking this massive gallon of fruit punch and just be like, Por que? <clears throat> I got swag for days. Personally, whenever I'm in a theater, I like to kick my feet up on the chair that's in front of me, which most of the time is empty. The reason I say most of the time is because occasionally someone will sit in the seat where I had my feet and my friends will dare me to keep my feet on there for as long as possible. Most of the time when I do this, the people move, but occasionally they'll just let my feet hang over them and will end up in this weird symbiotic relationship with a chair. I only ever do this when there are other chairs available for them to sit in and I get really triggered whenever someone goes out of the way to sit where I'm resting my feet. I guess you could say I hate being defeated. <laughs> These challenges are never planned, but for some reason we always end up doing them. Just the other day we entered a theater by singing that one George Michael song, the one that the one that goes like Sadly enough, the theater was empty when we did that and nobody saw our amazing performance. And the footage I did record was from the time my friends came back from buying snacks and did it a second time. Eventually people did start to show up, but sadly none of them saw our performance. Of all the times we've ever gone to the movies, We've only been in a completely empty theater once, and this was a couple years ago for the world premiere of Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I never even saw the first one, but this was just straight up garbage. We spent most of the time running around the theater and hipster snapping for the trailers aggressively. Some guy that used to work at the movies told me that occasionally they'd use empty theaters to play Rock Band 2, and honestly, I'd rather have done that. However, something interesting happened, because while we were in the theater, these two guys snuck into the movies and we could tell because they said, Yo, I can't believe we snuck into the movies. And they decided to sit in the back. So it was their group and our group. And for some reason, our group decided to do what any normal 20-something-year-old male would do in the situation. Penis! 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 Okay, now people are going to come. <laughs> yeah, we know you love trailers. Now, the funny thing about that clip, besides me being demonetized, is the fact that the guys in the back immediately started participating and throughout that whole movie we were just yelling the word penis and it was one of the greatest days of my life and that's why i made this video now if you guys uh want to send me any clips of you guys participating in any of these challenges feel free to send me a clip on twitter you'll get a reward of absolutely nothing don't forget to subscribe and like this video to enter my used tapatio sauce giveaway and to share with this video with every human being in existence to help out your boy as a small channel I'm actually going to be starting college pretty soon and they already told me that I got to read two books. Two books? On the first day? What?